Hello and welcome to another episode of Train Sim World 2, where I'm doing my best to drive virtual locomotives without causing major disaster. Or do I? Anyway, before we begin, I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already and follow up with bell button to turn on the notifications and stay up to date with my latest content. I would also like to encourage you to join my Discord server, where you can interact with me and other Train Sim World fans, talk about the game in general, share some cool mods, or just chill. You can find link in description down below this video. Welcome back in another episode of our Sandpatch Great Journey, uh, where I'm going through all the missions along this journey. So last time we had very exciting and very long mission, I have to admit. Uh, so this time perhaps something shorter would be very useful. However, Another shunting job would be kind of boring, so a little bit more complicated activity would also be appreciated. Hopefully, um, this mission will also be very, very interesting. So, without any further ado, let's jump into the game. And let's continue our journey. Okay, uh, car shop deliveries. The car department is asking for the bad order cars to be delivered. Head over to the cars and switch them into the car shop siding so they can be looked at later. It should take us 25 minutes. As always, we are using, uh, well, almost as always, we are using SD40-2 this time. Uh, the weight of this consist is 347 tons uh, we got tandem of two locomotives and length of 44.2 yards so let's begin right i'll start from jumping off my chair and setting up those locomotives to work as a tandem at least in a correct way Okay, so as previously, I will turn on the number lights, so they can look nice. We will set the light controls to controlling with unit coupled at long hood end. Fantastic. We will turn off control and fuel pump and engine run. Because we don't need that. Automatic handle is off, as we like it. Cutoff valve is at cutout, fantastic. And MU2 valve is at trail 6 or 26. Awesome. Let's look at the fuses. Everything looks okay. Lovely. So this is sorted. We are now ready to set up the first locomotive. So, on head locomotive, we are going to do the same. Okay. That looks awesome. Fuses. Radio on. Because we're gonna need a radio just in case. Okay. That's good. Now we can turn on banking com. Set MU valve to lead or dead. We can turn ditch lights on. And gauge lights, because it's a bit dark outside. Obviously generator field. Headlights front to bright, because it's a bit dark. 
we can put reverser handle we can set it to forward and that should be it uh, we are more or less ready cut off valve to freight okay we are almost ready to drive uh, now we need to find out where do we go right so we need to get onto this track let's set the switches oh this one would lead me to to a wrong track okay that looks good and that looks good right so we are ready to drive let's release the brakes let's wait for the brake pipe to to charge two blasts of horn and we can now drive Now we need to get to classification yard track 31B. We are going to pass through this location. And probably head to the other side of the siding right next to it. In order to pick up those cars. Nicely done so far. We are doing 14 miles per hour. Did I? Yes, I did turn on the lights. So everything should be okay. In fact, I do wonder... if I can turn on those lights nope they still don't work a little bit of independent brake to keep our speed in check we are just going past this location. Hmm. Okay, we need to stop at that location as it's indicated. I will slow down a little bit further. Let's see if everything is set. Oh, yeah, everything seems to be set. So we need to prepare to stop. Oh, I think I should have set those switches because I just rammed through them. Right, let's introduce harder braking. There we go. Right, we need to couple to formation of eight vehicles. And yes, just as I predicted, it's those eight vehicles that I just went past through. So, let's 
unlock the brakes and the train is already rolling back I'm gonna give it two blasts of horn and let it roll naturally oops uh, I forgot to set reverser and had a slight wheel slip That's my bad. Okay. We are now nicely rolling. Five miles per hour. That should give us a pretty decent speed and momentum. Good enough to eventually connect with those wagons. I can turn off those rear lights. We won't need them. Three point six. Okay, the speed is slightly dropping. I can give it a notch on throttle to hold my speed in check. I don't need to rush because those wagons are very close to me. Okay, let's keep it at five miles per hour. Okay, 84 yards, the train is naturally slowing down. Let's change to external camera. To make it easier for us to eventually observe what's going on. There we go. With a little bit of independent brake, we managed to connect to those wagons. Right. We need to stop at location back there. Okay. Let's have a look at the switches. Obviously, they are not set. Okay, now they are set. The train started to roll. Two blasts of horn. And we can now roll. Uh, we shouldn't go past speed of 10 miles per hour so we are probably just removing those cars from our way or perhaps those are the cars that that are damaged that's a good question anyway it seems like it's pretty interesting mission Okay, 9.2 9 miles per hour. That's a good speed to, to hold. Right. It, it appears that second locomotive is indeed using its lights. Huh. Right, right, right. But I don't like the way it's doing it. Let's see. If I would now turn on those lights. 
What kind of change does that make? Nothing at all. Right, I need to start stopping. That's very close. Okay. We are now ready to uncouple some vehicles. So let me just first... Introduce automatic brake to full application. That's very good. I can release independent brake. I won't need them. And we can now decouple the wagons that we are required to. Right, for some reason these lights have turned on. These are dim, as I set them. But these are not working at all. So perhaps... This is just my prediction. I would do that what kind of change is that going to make no change at all and if I would set it to controlling at either end again no change at all well sad right let's focus on the mission because we don't want it to take forever headlight control is not that important apparently so let's unlock this coupler and let's get back to our locomotive. Okay, now we need to push back the wagons that... ...that we took. No, I don't want to give up control. I, I really hate those prompts. Right. Okay. That is sorted. So we can now release this brake. We can release the throttle. We can set reverser to forward. And we can begin to move. Let's just double check if the switches are okay. Switches are not okay. Okay, the train is rolling. Okay. That is done. We are moving. I think I left the doors open. Yes, I did. Oh my goodness me. That's no good. That's no good. I left the doors open. 
which is not nice. Right, we just need to stop here and probably reverse towards normal sidings, same as we did previously. Right. I can use some independent brakes. That should be enough. Okay, we are now stopped. Oh, okay. So we just need to switch those cars between those three sidings. Uh, it's... Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Uh, reverser to... Reverse. Okay, and we are rolling. We are now rolling. Okay, that looks good. Let's change the camera so that we can see what our cars are doing. So I think all these are somewhat broken and we just need to split them between those sidings. It, it shouldn't take us long. It's nice and relaxing mission, especially after nearly three hours of driving. What do you think, guys? I know it's another nighttime switching in, well, relative darkness. Uh, I don't think it's as dark in the game, but, well, it is pretty dark on this yard. And we are back at Cumberland. Again. But hopefully after that one mission we will start getting more and more of those interesting missions where we have to uh, transport goods over a long distance. I'm not going to lie, after after previous mission I regained a little bit of, how would you say, um, maybe not trust but fate in this game. Uh, it, it really, it was really refreshing, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, however, it was also a very long mission, so it's like something for something, I guess, yeah. Uh, obviously, the longer distance you have to cover, uh, the more time you have to spend in this game, especially on that very demanding route. Right, we are almost at the destination. Oh, I actually managed to properly line up those wagons. Okay, that should be enough. Very good. Right, let's again introduce automatic brake, let's release independent brake, and let's jump off the cabin. Oh wow. Right. Uh, yeah, let's close those do uh, these doors. Uh, we won't need them. There we go. Small detour. And now we can just disconnect those wagons. J 
objective completed. Okay. Okay, doors are closed. Reverse is set to forward. Automatic brake released. Okay, that can be off. Okay. Front headlights are set. Okay, the train is speeding up quite fast, but, well, it, it was also me mingling with the camera. Everything looks good. And we are almost ready to stop. Just one more switch. A bit of independent brake, so we don't overshoot too much. Well, just by a few yards. There we go. And one last switch. And we should be good to go. Right. Reverser set to reverse. Independent brake released. Two blasts of horn. And we are rolling. Yeah, lights doesn't seem to work correctly, sadly. But, well, it is what it is. Uh, the game is designed as it's designed. It still works better than it used to work. Mostly because I finally found a proper setting how to set uh, locomotives to work in a tandem. It's still not perfect, but it seems to work, which was proven in previous mission, where we actually could uh, use the full power of, of this bad boy. Uh, sadly, it's, it's still not where it should be. Right, let's keep it on notch one. Let's jump to... External camera. Last two wagons. We are almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Almost there. Okay, we can let it coast. And we should be good to go. The train will slow down on its own. As we are rolling uphill. Okay. Nearly there. Almost. Almost. Oh yeah, that's the spot. Come on, just a few more yards. Okay, let's introduce full service on automatic brake. Uh, let's jump off the cabin. Let's climb down the steps. And uncouple those last two wagons. 
now we need to get into some proper stopping position and I believe that will be the end of this mission okay now we are ready to roll reverser can be set to forward automatic brake can be released we can now begin to roll and that should be it unless there is any other surprise that developers decided to to prepare for us uh, I hope they didn't because it was supposed to be 25 minutes mission which we've already spent uh, I spent some extra time preparing locomotives for uh, for drive I spent some extra time trying to mingle with those locomotives but on the other hand or all in all we should be pretty much on the spot right let me just slow down just a bit so that we won't go past 10 kilometers 10 miles per hour uh, sorry for that I, I almost started to use the wrong unit Just a bit of braking. I believe we will have to reverse back to our starting position, which shouldn't be a problem, in fact. Okay, just a tiny notch on brakes again. That's very good, very good. Right, now we are in 15 miles per hour speed limit zone. Uh, but that matters not as we are about to stop anyway okay we can start slowing down Okay, fully stopped. Yeah, I believe it's somewhere behind us. Yep. Yeah. Oops, uh, wrong switch. Okay, that's the one. Let's double check those. Everything seems to be fine. Okay. Everything is good. Let's release independent brake. Two blasts of horn. And we can now drive back to our starting position. Not too complicated mission, I have to say. Uh, so far it was going very, very well. So as long as uh, some cheeky developer didn't try to introduce some extra objectives, I believe this mission was pretty much on the spot when it comes to time prediction. Uh, I obviously spent some extra, as I mentioned before, uh, just to prepare the locomotives properly for tandem operations and, and, and so and so. Uh, but in general, even from the get-go, uh, I believe we would be able to, uh, to do a quite good job. Uh, for now, everything seems to be good. At least with this particular mission. So perhaps there is at least one mission in the game that is properly uh, properly done. We will find out about it in less than 300 yards.
Okay. We are nearly there. And we're here. And that's the end of the mission. Yes, so uh, just as I said, uh, I spent extra um, about eight and a half minutes uh, trying to mingle with uh, settings of my locomotive. But other than that, uh, everything is perfectly fine. We managed to achieve gold medal, uh, same as always, pretty much. Uh, so I think this mission was pretty, pretty good. Apart from it being in the night, uh, which perhaps might not be the best idea. Uh, lights in the game doesn't work really well. I'm, And I don't mean technical issues like um, reflections and stuff. I mean light settings on your locomotives and it looks pretty odd. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, there's usually no reason to turn on the lights between two locomotives in the tandem. It's most likely the need to turn on the front headlights in either side on either side of the tandem and obviously I have to do it manually if I would like to do it properly because as you can see uh, the lights doesn't really work so well anyway uh, we can now press continue and basically we can either continue our join journey or go to main menu where I'm going Right, so that was this mission. Uh, next week there will be another one and hopefully it will be much more exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, it was very short, uh, probably a little bit more relaxed than the previous one. Uh, however, I would still like to go and discover a little bit more of that main uh, line. It was really interesting, really exciting and hopefully Next week, we will have occasion to explore a little bit more of that fantastic route. Right. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to get informed about my new content, hit that notification bell button. And don't forget to share your comments down below. Have a great day and see you all later. Latur. Out.